Hey folks, our flood warning continues in effect until at least 8.15 this evening. Same area that's been there all week long. Earlier today, some pretty good rain moving through the warned area. You can see it right there. Some heavy stuff in Willis County, especially moving to the east and then dying down. And that's probably the end of it for tonight. Don't think we're going to see anything else, but tomorrow spotty showers could pop up again. Here's where rain fell today. Doppler estimated rainfall totals show just to the east of uh, I-69 E. Uh, east of Sebastian and Lyford, about 1.7 inches. Parts of uh, Raymondville up to a half an inch. Off to the west, a little bit less, four tenths for along I 69C and out north of Hargill. This is what we expect tonight. Probably nothing at all. I think skies stay partly cloudy overnight tonight. Temperatures drop down uh, probably upper 70s. That's about it. And then tomorrow, sunshine again. Could be a brief afternoon shower, thunder shower again. But like today, very isolated, very fast moving. You get in, they get out, and that's about it. I know you don't need that if you're cleaning up, but hopefully anything that does pop up will move in a hurry. If we look at the next three days, I think our chance of rain tomorrow is 10% or less. Same thing on Sunday, so we have mainly dry. And then Monday, we start to kind of ramp it back up. And right now, it's looking like the biggest rain next week may indeed stay to the north of us. That doesn't mean all of it. But at least the biggest part of it could be coastal bend northward up towards southeast Texas. At least that's what we're hoping for. Scattered showers on the sea breeze today from here all the way up to Houston. You see them firing up this afternoon. Again, nothing really big, nothing really big around to cause it. So just not a whole lot of rain tonight or tomorrow. I think it's a mainly dry day tomorrow, maybe a sea breeze shower. Here comes the upper air disturbance that by Sunday is almost right on top of us. That cools the upper levels of the atmosphere a little bit. Could allow for a shower, thunder shower. The better chance comes on Monday when this gets off to the west. All this tropical moisture starts to feed into Texas. But it looks like, again, the biggest part of this, not all, but the biggest part, maybe southeast Texas down to maybe Corpus Christi Monday into Tuesday. And even that, you don't see a whole lot showing up on Tuesday. And by Wednesday, it's tapering off. And by Thursday, 4th of July, it looks like now it's probably going to be out of here. These are current temperatures. Our thermometers are back. Both Raymondville and Harlingen at 91, 90 in Westlaco, 93 in McAllen. Overnight tonight, we end up in the mid to upper 70s across the region. And then tomorrow, it warms up again back into the mid 90s, pretty much valley wide. The exception will be South Pottery Island with a high of about 88 degrees there with that less than 10% chance for a shower or storm. 95 is the norm. We'll probably be right at that, maybe a little above the next couple of days. And Mondays, that rain chance goes up a little. Temperatures go down a little. Not very much. So your first one five accurate weather forecast for tonight. An isolated evening shower pretty much gone now. Then perhaps some patchy fog later on. Lows in the 70s tomorrow. Back in the mid 90s with an isolated shower again. Pretty similar to today. The next few days we keep temperatures in the 90s. But we do lower the numbers down a little bit for Tuesday. And back into Wednesday as that's our best chance for a shower thunderstorm. Right now 4th of July looks mainly dry. Just a stray shower. Chance of rain by Thursday probably 10% or less. That's your updated first one five accurate weather forecast. Yes.